everyone, it's Tiffany again with Bearable Traders. Um, so today was a bit of a difficult day for me. Um, I have a rule that once I enter uh, a trade and I take my first partial, I use a hotkey that automatically stops me out at break even if, if the stop comes back um, to my entry point. And that is what happened all day. It was, I was taken, I took a few partials and then it would come back, stop me out and then go back in my direction. It was quite aggravating. I mean, I think I had four trades that way. Um, so this particular trade was a nice double bottom off of a, a previous level I had marked um, on the daily, from the daily chart earlier this morning. Um, it bounced off very nicely. And my entry was off of the second bounce when the one minute made a new high. And I also use, I use Kyle's hotkeys um, when I enter my trade. It, uh, it's amazing. All I do is double click where I want my stop loss to be. And, um, when I enter, I hit the hot key and it, and it calculates the, the amount of shares that I can take. And I, and I know my risk before entering and I don't have to sit here and figure it out in my head. And I don't have to guess. I know for a fact that I will, I will not lose more than X amount, whatever I want to, um, whatever I'm risking at the time. So that hot key has changed my trading completely. I've been using it for months and months. Um, so anyhow, my first profit target was the hundred moving average on the, on the five minute. And as you can see, I kind of take, I took profit a little bit too soon at the top of the one minute candle. And then I thought it was putting up kind of a resistance at the, at the, um, at the 100 moving average. So I went ahead and took another partial and I got stopped out at break even. And then the stock continued to go in my direction. Aggravating. Um, so that was one of my trades today. Like I said, they all seem to look like this today. <laughs> But I did follow my rules as aggravating as it is. Sometimes I know that at the end of the day, I followed my rules. Um, there's something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I listened to uh, the Bearable Traders podcast. And a few weeks ago, I was listening to Thor's, uh, to Thor's interview and he talked about making, he made, he has a playbook. And so I had all my, all of my strategies written out and I, and, but him talking about making a playbook, I did that and it has helped me so much. Um, I, I have some quotes that trading quotes that helped me before I trade, but I have, I print out, I don't know if you can see, I print out, um, my, it's a playbook. It's my strategies and it's, it has my rules on there. Um, an example of what the trade often looks like. And then behind each, each of my, um, plays, I have a folder and, and I have always journaled my trades. And so I, for me, it helps me when I print them out every day. So every day I print every single trade out and, and then I go back at the end of the day and I write on the printout what I was thinking, why I took the trade, if I followed my rules, what I did wrong and everything. And then, so each strategy that I have has a folder. And so when I print out my trade, I put, whatever trade fit, fit that strategy, I put it in there. And then I have a red folder that, that I have taken trades outside of my strategies, outside of my playbook. And I'm trying to figure out like a punishment for myself for every time I put 
a trade inside the red folder. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to know. Um, I, I want to hold myself accountable for, cause my red trades are, and, and not, and not all the time they end up red. Sometimes I end up, um, my trades that go in the red folder end up, you know, in the end being green trades. However, I went outside of my strategy and went against my rules. So trying to, trying to figure out how to slap myself on the wrist for that. So if you have any, uh, suggestions, please leave them for me. Um, and I strongly suggest, um, figuring out a playbook for yourself. It, it really helps, um, psychologically too, when you're in a trade, if you're, if you know you have a set, set, set amount of rules that you're going by, it's less, uh, harsh on you mentally when the trade goes against you. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and all the fathers had a great father's day and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See you next time.